what albums in the future, from now, that's the future, not the present, the future, will be considered classics that have come out this decade anyway, like from the past seven years, which of the best albums, or not necessarily best, but what do you think will be considered, like classic, will be considered some of the greatest. Pretty straightforward premise, there's not too much going on in this video really, I'm just going to talk about some albums I think will be classics, but I think I want people to respond and tell me what they think will be classics and what will hold up, what will be appreciated more in the future. It's very tricky to predict, by the way, this is very difficult to determine what will be classics because it's such a hard concept because you don't know what will be more appreciated or if actually appreciated albums now will get forgotten instantly, you know, you just don't know, it's so hard. And I've set the difficulty to hard mode on this one, um, so no comment in to Bimba Butterfly, I know you're all commenting in to Bimba Butterfly already, no, that's cheating, you can't do that one, it's hard mode. We're, we're thinking, we're not, we're not going for the obvious, we're thinking here. I think in the internet age, honestly, it's going to be even trickier to determine what's classics, because every fucker has their opinion on everything, people just express constantly if you follow like music groups on social media or just anywhere on social media you rate your music websites like that um, the music publications constantly part their reviews of what they think are the best albums like there's just so many opinions everywhere so it's going to be make it even harder because everyone's going to be like no that wasn't a good album why does everyone call it a classic and people do that now with actual classic albums and so i think it's going to be even harder in this era to determine what will be classic in the future. But determining this on the basis of the way it's gone in the past with what's been considered a classic by the majority of people, the first album I'm gonna go with is Father John Misty's I Love You Honey Bear. I really do think that one is gonna hold up because he's, he's a singer-songwriter, he has a great sense of humor just as a character like though his persona the things he says he's a very quotable guy and a lot of the things he says so i think he will gain more appreciation from more people in years to come but i love you honey bear it's actually quite like a well-written album it's you know it's quite accessible it's the songwriting is very relatable for people that are in love and also it's humorous as hell i mean he just says ridiculous lines on this album that I feel like more people would appreciate um, when they listen to it. Definitely more so than Pure Comedy because that one runs too long and the topics on that album aren't specific to a lot of people, whereas I Love You Honey Bear could certainly resonate with way more people, so I, th I feel like that one is going to be a classic. I know a lot of people would say Death Rips, but honestly I don't know if they're accessible enough for enough people to call it a classic although they have kind of already put themselves as like a staple in the music world like they are so influential already so I think like the people the music nerds are going to certainly call them classics but just in general I don't know how many people are going to be able to say oh yeah that one was certainly one I remember because you gotta think as well like so many people are going to call Adele a classic whereas a lot of people might not be that bothered to buy her music even though she will have classics in the future for sure but you've got to think albums that are going to appeal to the masses but also have an experimental edge to them that did something to music that was very influential and important and it's quite difficult to think that too because the mixture of both is really hard to find David Bowie's Black Star is an obvious one I think that's certainly going to be a classic in the future Injury Reserve, in, I can't even speak, Injury Reserve are certainly going to be more appreciated as time goes on, especially considering how accessible they are. I think people are going to look back and think, why weren't more people listening to them? And why were they listening to like Kodak Black? You know, like they are lyrical and very accessible. So I think more people with time will see that. Frank Ocean's Blonde is already looking like people are going to see that as a classic. I constantly see people talk about this album, like, well over a year later, I still see people constantly tweeting about it, putting it on Facebook, even just random friends on my Facebook that you don't really think 
oh, like, I didn't think they were, like, that big on music, but they still love Frank Ocean's Blonde. Even though, in my opinion, um, Channel Orange is certainly the classic in my eyes from Frank, but I think the masses are going to see Blonde as a classic. Perfume Genius, that guy is on the cusp of, like, creating a hit song, I think. I think he's so close. Within the next few years, I think he'll be, like, hitting the charts with, like, a really powerful song. So when that time comes, I think that'll be when people see his previous music and his older music, how good that is. I think Fiona Apple's Idler Wheel will probably be, like, Joni Mitchell's Blue, or, you know, like, um, like a, a, a really well-crafted singer-songwriter album that's based on a breakup. Like, I think that'll be the, the staple album that people talk about. FK Twigs, for sure, will be hailed as a very influential R&B singer. I mean, so many people are trying to be her now, and it's only been a few years since that album. Um, Young Thug, I think Young Thug will be appreciated more as time goes on, because he's been of the era of the, like trap rap the mumbly rap type stuff but he's always like in my eyes i've always seen him as the one with the most talent because he has quite off kilter flows and a, a wild style that no one else has been able to match so i think more people will see him as a better rapper from this generation in that style you know not like oh he's the best rapper ever but in that style you know of the future of the lil uzi verts he'll be the one that prevails I do want to say, like, Algiers will be appreciated more as time goes on. But honestly, political music doesn't hold up that well for the average person. So I'm just not entirely sure how well they will. I'm going to talk about that in another video, political music, one day. But for now, I'm just not sure about Algiers. I think more people will appreciate them, but I'm just not sure. Run the Jewels is, of course, another pretty fairly standard pick that I think will... Um, end up living long. I think LP and Killer Mike will have quite legendary careers. I think they've still got um, another album in them that will shock people and blow people away. I'm gonna leave it there because I feel like I'm missing out loads here but I don't want to talk too much about this because I want to see what everyone else thinks because this is more about what other people think because you need a lot of people to call an album a classic and I'm just one guy so I don't see how my opinion is going to be that impactful. I mean, if I know what if these are going to be classics, then I'd be quite a rich guy because I'd be able to predict what albums <laughs> were going to sell well and I can, you know, collect them all now so that in the future they'll bring in the money. But, you know, that's silly and you can't determine that. So what do people think? You know, what what's going to be classics? Is this a stupid question? Can anyone determine this? Is, is it too much of a broad statement? you know, a classic album, is it too broad? What what do people think? Let me know. Let me know. Subscribe for more videos like this and more reviews on the daily and have a good day.